वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मोदी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेनिंग ऑन डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चंस ऑन सेपर प्लानर स्लॉटर एंड मिलिंग मशीन्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ गेट यूपीएससी एंड ऑल द गवर्नमेंट एग्जामिनेशन सो नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद क्वेश्चन नंबर वन कटिंग ऑफ मटेरियल ड्यूरिंग स्लॉटिंग ऑपरेशन टेक प्लेस इन ऑप्शन ए फॉरवर्ड स्ट्रोक ऑप्शन बी बैकवर्ड स्ट्रोक ऑप्शन सी बोथ ए एंड बी एंड ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ द एबो सो बेसिकली इन केस ऑफ द स्लॉटिंग मशीन और यू कैन से एनी काइंड ऑफ सेपर प्लानर एंड स्लॉटर मशीन the cutting of the materials during the operations that will be only happening on to the forward stroke so in all that machines the return stroke it will be becoming ideal stroke so there is no any kind of material is being removed into the backward stroke or you can say return stroke so only material is cut into the forward stroke so the right answer is option a forward stroke the next which of the following act as housing for an operating mechanism in slotting machine option a base option b column option c cross rail and option d table so basically this question is related with the construction and working of slotting machines so most of the housing for operating mechanisms it will be into a column of the slotting machines so the option b so if you want to learn in details so you will find a link in my description box for next question which of the following part of slotting machine carries tool head option a cross rail option b column option c ram and option d table so basically tool is mounted into a ram if it will be a sapper machine if it will be its slaughter machines so basically rotary motions it will be converting into reciprocating motion so that reciprocating motions it will be on to the ram so ram is basically carries with the tool head so right answer is option c so in case of slotting machines if it will be the saper machines the same answer in case of the saper that will be also ram is carries a tool head for the cutting into forward stroke the next question which of the following part of milling machine can be used for reservoir for coolant so option a base option b column option c knee and option d table so basically the coolant it will be used into the cutting of the very hard materials so according to the workpiece material is being changed so different kind of coolant is being used so basically that coolant it will be reservoir into the base so by the application of the pump it will be through the cutting edge or you can say cutting area so the right answer is option a base so if you want to learn in details of the construction of milling machines so you will find a link in my description box then next question which of the following part movement of milling machine helps in adjustment of table height so once again this question is related with the construction and working of milling machines so if you want to learn in detail of the each and every components or you can say parts of milling machines so you will definitely find a link in my description box 
so here that will be question is related with the adjustment of table height so the option a base option b column option c knee and option d table says already discussing into the construction and working of milling machines so with the help of knee you will easily adjusting a table height so basically that will be according to the my height of the job or you can say size of the job so the right answer is c knee the next which of the following milling cutter have teeth only on their periphery option a side milling cutter option b end milling cutter option c plain milling cutter and option d face milling cutter so the question is related with the different kind of cutters is being used onto the milling machine so the teeth only on to their periphery so in the plain milling cutter it will be having a teeth which is only on to their periphery of the tool so that plain milling cutter is being used for making a flat surfaces so the right answer is c plain milling cutter the next which of the following milling cutters can be used for cutting thin slots or for parting of operations so option a plain milling cutter option b side milling cutters option c and milling cutters and option d metal slitting cutters so plain milling cutters generally used to make a flat surfaces side milling cutters that will be working on to the one of the face of the job so you can easily handle and milling cutter that will be also used to make a slots as well as some kind of gear mechanism with the help of indexing mechanism and option d metal slitting cutter so basically metal slitting cutter it will be used for cutting a thin slots or you can say parting of operations so right answer is d metal slitting cutter the next which of the following milling cutters can be used for formation of v grooves option a angle milling cutters option b form milling cutters option c gear cutters and option d wood rub key cutters so this question is coming from a different kind of operations it will be carried out onto the milling machines so if you want to for make of formation of v grooves so you can easily handle with the angular milling cutters so option a so if you want to learn in details of all the operations it will be performing into the milling machines so you will find a link in my description box the next woodrub key milling cutter is a type of option a plain milling cutters option b side milling cutters option c end milling cutters and option d face milling cutters so wood rub key milling cutters generally it will be a category of end milling cutters so at the end of the tool it will be having a special kind of arrangement of the cutting edges for making a wood rub key slots so if you want to learn in details of a wood rub key milling operations so you will find a link in my description box the next arbors in milling machines are generally used to option a hold cutters option b hold work piece on table option c act as auxiliary spindle and option d none of the mansions so basically arbors in milling machines are generally used to hold hold the cutters so different kind of milling cutters it will be mounted onto the arbors so the work 
piece is fed against a rotating cutter so in some operations it will be the more than one cutter it will be also mounted onto the arbor with the help of collet mechanism so if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching